at this time of the year, it's uh, if you're in a bracket, then um, that's all you worry about. You know, <laughs> I, I don't take this moment for granted, and I'm glad that we're at home. Um, I think the bracket's good, and and you know, if we are fortunate enough to get the job done here, then I don't mind going on the road to Arkansas. So. Coach, in the past, you've um, said the Pac-12 is not really interested in a tournament. Yeah. Um, and uh, just just that you thought maybe the SEC tournament kind of impresses the committee. Do you see anything to an advantage to that at all? You know, I don't know. Um, the the way things are nowadays, um, you could be absolutely right. Um, with the the influence that ESPN has on our game is 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 getting um, it's pretty interesting. I mean, I, 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 I was okay for a while there, but then um, I, I just, cause I, I do a ranking every week uh, for USA softball. And um, so I kind of compare what my rankings were. And today I just did one and, and I, I just, the first five, I was pretty accurate. And then after that, man, it was like, how can Washington be a 16 seed, you know? And um that hurts. And then, how, I, you know, and then the send Oregon to Texas. Come on. But I don't mean anything. <laughs> you know, all I do is coach here. And um, yeah, but, you know, for, for our sake, at, at this stage of the game, you, you're you going to have an opponent. You're going to have to play good softball. You're going to have to beat your opponent. And if, like I told the girls, you got 21 outs every game, you got to take advantage of every 21 outs, whether it's offense or defense. And and um, if you're good enough, you're going to get there, you know, so it's, it's why we compete. And, and um, there's all kinds of challenges. One year I, I was sent to Florida state, you know, and back in the day thought, why the hell am I going to Florida state? But it, it turned out to be a, a, a great thing because we were playing in Atlanta that year in Georgia. And um, we ended up going to Florida state, winning that regional and drove over to Georgia and won a national championship. So, you know, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity for our kids. Um, I think they're battle tested right now. Um, some things haven't gone the way we would like, uh, but usually that doesn't happen. Um, I think any good team's going to have to go through some ups and downs throughout the year to get strong. And, and um, I, my biggest concern right now is just get them ready to play this game with some confidence and, and take care of the details and, and then go out and compete and have fun, you know, that's all you can do. So Kelly Anua Perez had some choice words for the committee. Um, she's a little bit more outspoken than a lot of coaches, but uh, what do you think of, she brought up the four games that you guys played in conference schedule as, as yeah. kind of, that was not recognized by the committee. What do you no. think about that? Because yeah. it seemed like the conference made an extra effort to really get those games in. Yeah, it was, um, it, it, it's, it's just, I, I wish I was in the room to, to hear the conversations, um, which makes it tough for me to to say things. But I know our conference, and I know our conference is much better than what uh, what what it was shown today. And um, it, it it irritates me. You know, I mean, I kind of felt like Washington when they walked out. I thought that was just uh, probably the right thing to do at that time because it just doesn't make sense. And there's just there's too much influence right now and too much self-promoting that that somehow the Pac-12 is going to have to wake up and we're going to find a way to, to, to match that. And I just really believe that um, throughout the years right now, the, the Pac-12 network hasn't really helped um, our case. Um, and um, we just we need to look at what do we need to do to get our people in front of everyone else, you know, the audience that needs to be in front of. And to me, that's that's the the next step in our conference right now is to fix what we have, because it's it's broken right now. It is a conference of champions, but you can't just sit on a conference of champions. We've got to do much more. And when I turn on um, the SEC network, they've got a, a a show that looks like ESPN, and they've got every highlight of every game going on in baseball and softball. I mean, it's a big production and. Obviously, that's going to catch eyes. And unfortunately, you know, you turn on the Pac-12 network right now, and all you see is a bunch of replays of 
of games that have already been done. And, and people are smart enough right now to know that because of social media. They're, they're pretty updated on things. And um, yeah, it, it's, it, it's pretty prehistoric right now. And we need to do something to fix it. Uh, quick thoughts on Janelle winning freshman of the year. Well, the yeah, well, very, very well deserving. I mean, to, to, to be the best freshman in the Pac-12 is an honor in itself and quite a challenge. And for her, um, I'm just so, so excited and so pleased with her performance this year. Um, she was a kid that, that, um, you know, in the recruiting process kind of flew under the radar a little bit, but every time I went out there, she was on base and making some things happen. And, and I tell you what, she has uh, improved tremendously. And, uh, I give a lot of credit to Caitlin. Um, she, she reminds me a lot like Caitlin with her skill set. And um, to see what she did this year to be number one, the batting average, the batting champ and uh, freshman of the year is pretty phenomenal. Coach Candrea, congrats on uh, hosting. Are you going to ha handle your, the pitching any differently than maybe you had in previous seasons when possibly you only had two pitchers who you felt were at a level to compete at the highest with the highest teams? Well, you got three and, and uh, you, you did yeah. things like this past weekend. No, I, I like that question. And, and yes, that is definitely something that um, um, I experimented with some things this weekend. Some of it worked, some of it didn't work. Um, but yeah, we, we, in, in today's game, it's really hard to throw someone out there and think that they're going to, they're going to be able to get through a lineup three times. And um, maybe that's why major league baseball has a, you know, a middle reliever and then a closer. But I think softball is kind of getting to that point where you just got to show them different looks. And it's hard because when a kid's cruising and and um, they're getting the job done, it seems like things happen very quickly in our game. And so, yes, we we talked about it. We thought about it. Um, I think Hannah Bowen is is a competitor and ready to compete. I thought Denham looked good. The, the game she threw with um, – um, on uh, Friday night. Um, and I think Devin Nets came in and showed us that she can come in and give us an inning here and there. Um, but is she ready to throw three or four innings? Probably not. Um, so yeah, that's, that's our challenge. And it's, it's, it, it is a really difficult thing to, especially in softball to handle um, a pitching staff and be able to know when to, when to make that change and when not to. And I think we just need to be a little bit quicker at, at maybe, um, giving people another look, but UCLA was, a, it's a whole different animal. I mean, there's not many teams that are going to be one through nine is as solid as they are. And they're a really good hitting team. And, and that, that presents a challenge, but we're going to see some others. So I think we have some options, you know, if, if I do something and it works and I look great, if it doesn't work, then I don't look good. So I've got, I got big shoulders. I've been in it for a long time and, we, we, we don't have the Jenny Finch that can run through or the Taryn Mowat that threw every inning of a World Series. You know, no one was asking that question back then. Um, it was just what we had and what we needed to do. And I think sometimes that's what I think people don't understand. What is our next best option is? And is that a better option than what we have out there right now? Um, but um, I think we've learned a little bit, to be honest with you. And um, yeah, hopefully we will we will make the right decisions and get this team back where we want them. All right. Good luck on Friday. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mariah yeah. had a pretty good game against UCLA yeah. yesterday, uh, four really good innings. Yeah. Uh, although she, she had struggled this year, she seems to have fixed that. Is that kind of like a secret weapon going into this tournament in terms of yeah, now? I think, yeah. I think as you listen, people talk, they don't mention her name right now. And, and, but Mariah is a, a very good pitcher and I think she just needed to get, her mind right and um, get some confidence. And I thought if there was a positive out of this weekend, that was one of them, you know, for her to throw as well as she did. Uh, I'm really happy with that. So, you know, going in, I think we have four pitchers that, that we can use. Um, and it's just a matter of putting zeros on the board. You know, we have 21 outs, they have 21 outs. We just got to make their 21 outs um, not, not successful and make ours successful. You know, you're going to face top pitching, but you've been in those moments. How much confidence can you draw from that? Yeah, I think that's one of the positives you can take away from this last weekend is that we can hit good pitching. We just need to string it together. And 
what would you say the reaction was um, from your team when you saw the the bracket? It seemed like on TV, you guys didn't have a, you weren't like celebrating. I mean, was that kind of a, a sign that you kind of just expect to be at this point? No, I mean, I'm pretty sure we're all really happy that we're able to play at home. All the seniors are able to play at home one more time. Um, we may not show it, but we are really excited and happy. What was your reaction when you found out you won Pac-12 freshman of the year? Um, well, Danny told me yesterday and I was walking out. I was about to go see my family. And I think I was kind of like taken back. I would say I was kind of like, <gasps> like, I don't know. I, that was my initial reaction, but I am, it does make me really happy, I guess.